what's up my friends welcome to this beautiful day um yeah i ain't gonna hold you for long i ain't gonna hold you for long i just got a question i want to ask you i was just thinking just observing and i know somebody needs to hear this right the question i want to ask you is right how do you know that you are who you think you are how do you really know that you are who you think you are? See, a lot of people, they, they think they're acting like the person they want to become because that's who they desire to be, but they haven't put it all together yet. So they're still in um, the process of becoming this new person, but they think and they they talk and act as if they're already that new person so it's a conflict it's a kind of a conflict you know um, with themselves and others because you may have that potential to become this person but until you are that person it's only potential so my question to you is how do you know that you are who you think you are most people think they're acting a certain way, but they're really not. They're acting in a manner of the person who they are becoming, the person who they desire to be, but they're not that yet. So it becomes conflicting to themselves and to other people. How do you know that you are who you think you are? I'll tell you when. The way you know and are definitive about who you really are, that you really are the person you want to be, is when you're always that person who you desire to become and you never snap back into any other form. That's when you know that you are who you're supposed to be. That's when you know that you are who you desire to be. When you are that person 100% of the time. That's when you you become fluent in who you desire to be like you 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 demonstrate the same character of that person. You're fluent in it most of the time. Then the next level is maintenance. You can maintain the behavior of the person that you desire to be all the time. It's, it's, it becomes predominantly who you are, but it's still another level until you're able to generalize the behavior across different settings. That's when you'll know that you truly are who you think you are, my friend. But listen, here's the thing. Even if you're not totally who you think you are, but you're in the process of becoming this person, don't quit. Continue to work to become your best self, to transform into who you desire to be, but just understand where you are in the process. That way you don't, you don't confuse yourself, you don't confuse other people, and most importantly, you don't confuse the universe. Because those vibrations are coming. Your words, thoughts, and actions got to be aligned with your truth. Your universe is the ultimate boomerang. It just takes everything you give it and returns it right back to you, my friend. How do you know that you are who you think you are? And the answer is when you are that person 100% of the time. When external circumstances don't make you change from that person. I read a quote and I, I see it from time to time and it's a good quote and I like the quote. They say the true measure of a person is how you act, how you behave when you have everything and how you behave when you have nothing. See, if you truly are who you think you are, your behavior shouldn't change because of external circumstances. Your behavior shouldn't change because of what happens to you the people that come in and out of your life. Your behavior shouldn't change. You should still be who you think you are. You should still demonstrate consistent behavior. You should still be recognized 
by the content of your character. Have a great day, my friends, and always know that you really are who you think you are because you are that person 100% of the time across all environments, across all situations. Be real, my friend. Be godlike. Be you. Be great.